And we welcome you back. You know, during the pandemic, working remotely has become what many thought would be temporary, right? But more and more companies are making this a long term thing and in some cases permanent. So are you set up for that? Stephen Leidhold is the president and CEO of STL Communications here this morning to talk about a permanent workstation at home. Good morning to you. Hey, good morning, Randy. Hey, are you finding that more companies are seeing the remote workforce as the permanent new norm? We are, Randy. In fact, one of the recent surveys actually shows that 96% of office workers at least hope to work from home at least some of the time. Well, and I know it hit a lot of us very quickly where we, you know, am I set up properly? Do I have the right Wi-Fi? Do I, did I download the proper apps? That's exactly what your company helps with, right? Exactly. We're, we're experts with 30 plus years of experiencing technology and, and now with this in, increased demand for work from home, we've really become experts at that very quickly. Um, people understand how to work with email from home. We're all used to that. One of the challenges, though, has been working with telephones from home. And so as, as people are reluctant to use their personal cell phone for business use, the, the demand for work from home via telephone has really increased. Uh, so we actually bring our mobile learning center out to uh, businesses, to their organization. We come out with it fully disinfected. Uh, we're wearing our masks, and, and we teach people how to use uh, cloud voice services on their soft phone. So a soft phone is an application on your laptop that allows you to make and receive your business telephone calls from your normal business hmm. telephone number using your laptop. And we did see video a bit ago about a big giant bus with a bunch of superheroes on it. <laughs> Tell us about that. You bet, you bet. That's our, our mobile learning center. So we load that up with all this technology that we're happy to show people and teach them and take it all over the St. Louis metro area. And again, realizing that the companies aren't anxious to come to our office to see a demo, that we bring this to them. And again, they can come on board in small groups. It's been fully disinfected. We're all wearing our masks. It's a great way for us to be able to show this technology and in a safe environment, give people hands-on learning and demonstrations about how it works. And I like one part of what you do as well is help consult employees. One of the subject matter is how to dress on video calls. Have you seen some horror stories? I, I gotta tell you, Randy, it's, it's been pretty hilarious, right? We've seen everything from, from the dog barking in the background to literally I had one pretty recently where a uh, uh, customer didn't realize he was on a video call. I guess he thought it was an audio call and he was eating a bowl of breakfast cereal during a meeting and suddenly looked up and realized he was on a video call. <laughs> Surprise. So, yeah, there, there are a lot of things to consider. <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, you know what? I have a feeling a lot of bosses and a lot of companies will be very interested in what you have to offer. It's STL Communications. It's one of our uh, or, or, or renewal by Anderson web cameras as well, stlcom.com. And we have a phone number and the website for our viewers that will be put on our website as well as our Fox 2 mobile app. Thank you so much for joining us. And I will say you look, you look really good on, on your video call. <laughs> Thank you, Randy. It's good to hear on a Monday morning. All right. Well, have a great day. Time to take a break. You we'll too. be right back.